Oh God. Uh, hello. <laughs> How you doing, everyone? It's uh, we're 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 doing password today. We 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 do it. We going to day nineteen. That's that's that letter right number. And we're in, we're in Deanie Boys route. It's all it's all good. Um, we're oh okay. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I woke up with a start, bundled up in a mass of brown fur. I was flat on my back with Dean's arm over me like a fuzzy blanket. He had me covered, only adding to that protective feeling that was carrying over from the night before, and I lay there uh, <clears throat> watching him slowly mumble in his sleep. They were just noises, although he seemed to have... Um, uh, to be having a conversation in his sleep from just how often his mouth was moving. Dean? I called out to him. Wait, uh, as I called out to him, he frowned, as if, uh, pained sleep... Pained slightly and slowly mo Yeah, I can't, I can't read right- Wow! Uh, opened his, uh, <laughs> eyes to look at me, dazed. Hmm? Morning! Oh, <laughs> good morning, handsome! He cuddled me in his, cuddled me in close briefly before uh, shuffling over to kiss me on the cheek, settling down with a sigh. You sound tired still. Only a bit. The yawn that followed betrayed him, and he rubbed his eyes. What about you? Ah. I think I'm tired. Oh yeah, I I think I'm tired, but not wanting to sleep anymore. Bad dream. Something like that. Did you want to talk about it? No, it's all right. Or, um, I guess I'll talk about the... Talk about the, uh... Wait. I'll talk about the later at some point. Is it supposed to be that? I'll talk about that later at some point. That sounds about right. You're sure? Yeah. Again, he yawned, almost settling down on the uh, back on his pillow. It's still early. You can go back to sleep if you want. He flashed me a smile and closed his eyes. Uh, about to say something, but whatever he was, whatever it was, uh, soon became a quiet snore. I shuffled out from under his arm and got dressed, shooting him a smile, and he started to shift around, looking for something to cuddle up, cuddle in in my absence. Shifting the pillow I was laying on into his reach, he cuddled it uh, into his chest while I made my way out of the room. Okay, we got... Oh. But that was, uh... But if that happened later, what could fill out the rest of my day? Maybe ask Orlando? He'd know what to do about to do about uh, meeting up for a date, surely. Although, thinking about it, Orlando hasn't even really talked about dating anyone or what it was like to go on a date. Maybe he was just cl as clueless as I was, but it was worth checking out, right? Or maybe I should just ask Dean himself, but that seemed kind of silly to uh, uh, to make a thing of it uh, in the evening if we're going to spend all day together anyway. Giving up, I slumped against the railing of, uh, of the front desk and... Deck. Deck. Where this is this are these considered decks i don't i don't know okay is this conversation the same indeed it is and dean set his cup aside and wandered closer leaning forward to press his uh, nose against my head as he uh as his hands found themselves on my waist you had me worried this morning uh when you weren't in bed with me sorry just wanted to go for a walk after he went back to sleep. I guess I needed it. I slept pretty well. Would you like me to come back to bed? Well, now I'm not so sure. Everything okay? I think so. I just had some stuff on my mind, uh, the usual. If that, cha if that changes, you let me know, all right? Even if you want to talk about uh, st stuff like... Uh, talk about uh, some of the stuff. I'm here to listen if you need me. I nodded slowly, and I set my mug aside so I could hug him around the middle. I will. 
Mind if I hang out while you uh, make breakfast? None of the others seem to be up yet. Oh, sure, no worries. Okay, so it's, uh... Yeah, pretty, pretty... Uh, hey. I nearly jump out of my fur from uh, how close he was. Looking over my shoulder at the frying pan, he was lucky that I didn't... I hadn't accidentally flipped the pancake over onto the floor. But... <clears throat> But what was left in the pan was a uh, half-flipped mess. Ty? What? You almost made me screw this up. Did not. You're just a klutz. And that's facts, though. <laughs> Glad to know you're somewhat back to normal, I think. Uh, the sleep helps. Uh, in your bed, I mean, so thanks. I'm glad. Use it tonight as well, and just to make sure you're all, like, good again, all right? He grunted, wandering over to the coffee machine to make himself a mug before heading towards the uh, door to the dining room. Maybe. And with that, he headed into the dining room. Conversation on the other side died down, as no doubt the others noticed him. Well, that's kind of sad. Ah, the good, good, the, the goodest boy. Uh, <laughs> Man, it's it's like Tyson is best boy. Then, uh, then Thanatos, then Power Gap, everyone else. You know, it, it is what it is. Stepping out into the fresh air, I started my trek over to the greenhouse, my mind wandering. I was so distracted, I didn't see what I was, where, uh, where I was going, and ran right into a mess of yellow. Uh, Orlando? Just as I recognized him, he had his hand on my shoulder. Whoa. Uh, sorry, Dave. You're spending the day with me. I, uh, but I was looking for... I know who you were looking for, and you'll see him later. He's busy right now. Right, he's carving a thing, right? A little, he's carving the little hyena. Right? Doing what? Important bear stuff. Business you can't know about until later, but I promise it's harmless. Oh. I looked past him to the greenhouse, pouting. Well, okay. What did you want to do? Honestly, I need to get some something sorted out in the kitchen for later, but after that, I just wanted to play some games with my best friend. Before I could get another word in, he had me by the hand and marched me back inside, then through the foyer into the dining room, and finally into the kitchen. Are we cooking something? Just me. I have something particular I need to get uh, going for tonight. But what is it? Lemon curd. Ew. I'm getting the impression that you don't know what that is. Sure I do. That's what cows eat, right? What? Oh, no, you're thinking of, uh, cud? But then what's curd? Like, curdled milk, but with lemons? No, it's, um, I shouldn't have called it that. Uh, just think of it as lemon butter. Oh, I, I like those things. I swear, you and Dean are a great match. That's mean, but I understand. <laughs> uh, so, I should just wait? Please, it won't take me long to, uh, uh, to me long to, but, wait, me long to, but together. To put together? Okay. And it's uh, m probably the most important thing needed for the night. He went around grabbing bits and pieces before settling it into the um, cooking. Into cooking what was in the pot on the stove. I recognized lemon, butter, and something else with them. It looked like a cross between an orange or a lemon and at the same time. I went to Aska and Orlando just continued working, holding a finger up to his mouth as if telling me it was a secret. Honestly, it, it wasn't all that uh, long before he had done, before he was done and was uh, pouring what he'd made into a container. Just need it to cool and we'll be good to play games. So what do you want to do in the meantime? Well, for starters, I want to ask you something about Dean. Shoot, what did you want to know? You're happy with him, right? I don't understand the question, like, as a friend? No, no, as a boyfriend. But we're not yet, are we? 
You, you tell me. You've been dating for a while now, right? That's complicated. Complicated how? Dean took me on a picnic a little while back, maybe a week ago. Was that a week ago? Uh, we... <laughs> We talked about this sort of stuff, and what exactly we are. And what are you? I don't know. He said he wanted to do a fancy dinner thing first, and then we'd just, uh, we'd be just dating. Is that how that works? He said, uh, that dating is the, uh, dating is the getting to know someone first. Boyfriends are when you're, um, past that step, I guess? So tonight is the deciding point? I suppose so, huh? No pressure then. But I suppose you're getting, uh, you've been, uh, been getting to know each other a bit over the past, uh, God knows how long. I, uh, think the phrase you're looking for is long enough, but yeah, we're both kind of, uh, I gesture with my hands and Orlando nodded slowly, thinking it over. Well, I hope that, uh, I hope that after tonight, you get past that step, you know. Man, I can't wait for Dean to reject me. Because uh, <laughs> I've been choosing a lot of the platonic options. Uh, I hope so, too. Honestly, like, it's nice getting to, to this point. Feeling official and all that. Then I'm glad. You deserve, uh, something nice, uh, albeit all the... Wait. Amidst all this... You two will, uh, make a nice couple for sure. No pressure, huh? Orlando shook his head, chuckling. No pressure. You've basically been doing all of this before, anyway. This is just more, uh, official. And then we'll be boyfriends? Hopefully. He went back to his curd and stored it in the fridge, and gestured that I should follow him out of the kitchen. I followed him to the rec room, and he was, uh, and he went about setting up a game on the big screen. Standing awkwardly near the door, I just watched and waited for any, any sort of clue, cue as to what I should be doing. Come on, Dave! Let's get some gaming in before your bear steals you away for the night! What did you want to play? How about we start with some co-op, and then move into something more competitive? Oh no, but I suck at those kind of games. What do you mean? I haven't even said what it is we're playing. Does it matter? You're better at games than I am. Man, Dave needs to sit down and learn how to be a pro gamer. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I suppose that's fair. Fair enough. Guess we'll just stick with games where we can team up for now. I do like this CG. It's super cute. Like, what the fuck? <clears throat> we both fell into a beanbag, as if we were uh, gaming at home, thinking back to the times where Orlando came over and uh, brings his consoles with him when I didn't go over to his. It happened a lot to the... Wait, it happened a lot more than me going over to his place, and I suppose I knew why now given his family. Still, it was just one of those things where <clears throat> this felt familiar. It felt like home. So what's first? Uh, feel like cooking? What do you mean? You know, the one where, uh, each of us, uh, controls a different hand and tries to complete the order. That sounds like a nightmare. Also, that doesn't sound like it'd really work all that, that, all that well. What about, uh, hey, what about the one with the portals? The science one? Last time we tried that, I felt dumb, and you got frustrated that we were still stuck on the same puzzle for an hour. I admitted that was my fault. We shouldn't have gotten the <laughs> the mods and uh, stuck to the game, just uh, stuck to just the base game. What about some more adventure-like, something more adventure-like, like the one with the guns? Guns? You mean the side scroller with the knights? Oh, if they had a, uh, if they have that, I'd uh, play that. Or the one with the rainbow unicorn and the balls that bounce around. The last one isn't even multiplayer, Dave. It isn't? Orlando um, booted up one of one that looked familiar, and we were running around the screen in no time as brightly colored knights. So tell me, Dave, are you going to miss us uh, doing this when you're spending all of your time with uh, Dean from now on? What do you mean? Well, I imagine that 
You'll be wanting to spend all of your time with a uh, loving boyfriend, doing who knows what when it's all official. Like what? I don't know, probably sex, like all the time. Is that how that works? When he said it was, uh, when he said it was, when he said it, uh, my controller slipped out of my grip and I promptly uh, died in, to an oncoming boulder. Or gardening, something more outside, maybe. But sex all the time? What? Like the idea? Do you think he would, though? Want that? Don't you? I think Dean might have, uh, have you, uh, beat as far as, uh, uh, libido, but, well... Well, what? He's not the most, uh, ins- wait. Insatiable? 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 Insa yeah, okay. A uh, person I've ever- I've known at least, but, uh, so, you'll probably be fine. I got lube and stuff if you need it after tonight. Why- why do I get the impression you want this to happen more than I do? I'm just excited for you. Everything that comes with a loving boyfriend, and sometimes that includes, uh, you know. When we completed the level, I sat my controller down, thinking about it. What's it like having a boyfriend? What makes you think I know? Just how you talk about it, I guess. I assume that, uh, you'd have had someone be interested by now. I've, uh, I've had some people interested, sure. Like who? Uh, fairly certain that Greenhorn Ram from the Anime Club liked me, and at some point, uh, he was always a little skittish around me. Oh, really? Uh, that's what, that's what that meant? Honestly, I don't think so at first, and just assumed he was shy, but the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. But you two never, you know? Oh, no. He never asked anything. He never said anything. Uh, he shrugged, uh, shaking his head. Besides, I had my eyes on someone else, not that he ever noticed. Oh, who? He ruffles the fur atop of my head, laughing. God, you're dumb sometimes, Dave. Sorry. Honestly, it's fine. I think it's better this way. Of course you would. Really? You're sure? Look, all I ask is that you end up happy, Dave. Maybe also, uh, to give me the, uh, finer details on anything interesting that happens between you and Dean. Maybe, but we'll see if I'm comfortable talking about all the details after it happens, right? I'll take the- uh, I'll take the maybe. I just noticed that the volume looks really low. At least on the game end, you know? Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Just if, uh, you're ready to beat me in a game, might be my last time to flex my superior gaming skills over you. Oh, come on! You don't need to do that, Orlando! Need? No. Want? Well... Okay, fine. A couple of games, but at least I, uh, get to pick the... which one I'm gonna get beaten in, alright? Suits me fine. What are you picking? Uh, the go-kart one. I wanna play that one. You yeah, sure? You dislike it when we uh, played the last one against one another. Well, maybe I've gotten better. You never know. Huh. <laughs> How about we uh, bet on it? A bet? Why? Just a bit of fun. Not interested. Depends on what you want to bet. How about if I win, I get one kiss before Dean uh, <laughs> uh, gets uh, dibs on the rest of them. But what if I win? I don't think there's anything I really want. How about if you win, I'll teach you Dean to make you to make all the nice sweets and stuff you like, so that you can have them uh, anytime you like. Oh, that would be nice, yeah. Great. Then we'll do the we'll uh then we'll do say best of seven. So I just need to win four, and then I get as many treats as I want. After I teach them to Dean, and after he makes them, I suppose so. Uh, it'd been a while since I'd, uh, been treated to what was functionally an all-you-can-eat buffet, uh, over Lando's desserts, and for a brief moment, all reason felt, uh, went out the window. Deal! Man, you're kissing Orlando tonight. Uh, now, uh, don't you complain when you lose. 
We booted up the first race, and it wasn't even a contest. Orlando having gone around the lap and passed me somewhere around se uh, around second uh, lap two. The second race wasn't much better. Although he pa he threatened to uh, pass me, he never did. Lingering just behind me, it felt uh, stressful though. And I went uh, into the race three very, very uncertain. Not looking too good, huh, Dave? No, not really. How about I play one-handed for the next one? See if that's any easier. He wiggled the uh, finger uh, of one hand and put it back to his back, showing me uh, uh, that he had just, he only had one hand in the controller. I think I'll feel worse if you win like this, honestly. Well, you better win then. Sure enough, it was close, but I pulled ahead and crossed the finish line first. The second time, with Orlando's handicap, it was no contest. Him, um, having uh, fumbled on the controller more than once, giving the uh, size of his hands against the controller. Oh no. Another race, I'd won three in a row. One more, and I'm home free. But that's when Orlando started using his other hand again, winning the uh, sixth race and putting us tied. Well, what's the last uh, course going to be, Dave? You pick. Rainbow Road. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I want the rainbow one. <laughs> and we set off, a lump in my throat as I uh, desperately tried to catch up. About halfway through the race, I passed Orlando on a turn. And I laughed nervously, whining as I, uh, as I, uh, wait, whining as I uh, could see him and just uh, behind me, threatening to pass. The final lap came around, and we kept swapping uh, who was ahead of who, but on the last turn, something happened. No! Oh. The controller slipped out of Orlando's grip, but he caught it. It was enough for me to pull ahead from <clears throat> uh, throw the and cross first. I won? Seems like it, yeah. I jumped up from my from the uh, on the floor, throwing my controller aside. Man, he th I can't believe Orlando threw the race at the uh, screen, declaring me the winner of our seven race competition. I won. Orlando, look, I've never beaten you at one of these before. My body started to move on its own, doing a small jig to try and uh, shake the excitement and giddiness from my system. Did you see? Who's the epic gamer now, Orlando? Me. I'm the epic gamer. Oh my god, Dave, why are you so cringe? I, uh, a deep chuckle from the doorway snapped me, uh, back to my senses. It was at that point that I noticed that Orlando had disappeared, and I, uh, suddenly wondered how long I'd been in my own little world just dancing. Now if, uh, <clears throat> now if this isn't the cutest thing I've ever seen in a while... I laughed, embarrassed, but Dean quickly crossed the room to stand in front of me. Didn't know you danced when you were a uh, happy Dave. I just beat Orlando in a game. Oh, so that's why he was uh, heading downstairs so quickly. Oh, that's where he went. He needed to teach you how to. He needs to teach you how to cook uh, now too, actually. Maybe he can. Uh, maybe that can wait until after he's made dinner. But for now. He took my hand and quickly twirled me around, catching me as I stared, uh, as I started to wobble. Can't say I'm very good at dancing, but uh, we could dance together for a little bit if you want. Uh, we have the time. We do? Sure! He started moving uh, my hands back and forth, shimmying his hips all the while. Had a good day so far? I was uh, going to come talk to you, but Orlando ins uh, instead, but instead Orlando stole me away from the for video games. You wanted to come talk to me? About what? I don't know, just I like being around you, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm flattered. Sorry that I had to th throw Orlando at you, but I had a surprise I was working on for tonight. <laughs> there seem to be a lot of surprises happening tonight. Not a fan. More like this is just making me wonder if I should have prepared any um, sort of surprise for you. Don't worry about it, Dave. Tonight is all about you. Maybe consider it a birthday present or an early Christmas present. <laughs> but it's not either of those things. Then who's to say we can just 
uh, do something nice for someone we care about. I don't deserve that, do I? Come now. You don't think that of you. Uh, you don't really think that, do you? I guess it just feels like a little selfish, that's all. I'd much rather share it around, you know? Well, you'll be sharing it with me tonight at least, right? True. Speaking of, are you ready? Mostly. But uh, could we just chat for a bit? Everything all right? Yeah, just wanted to uh, chat. Spend time with you, that's all. He pulled me down into a beanbag and had me in his lap, resting back with a hand on my hip to support me. What's on your mind? Nothing really. Just thinking of about us. Good things? Bad things? Good, I think. I'm just wondering what's going to happen after this, I guess. <clears throat> That's what you're worried about? Yeah, like, Orlando was talking about, uh... Uh, talking about, uh, commented about your libido. <laughs> I can behave. We've been over this before. I know. He hugged me around the middle and I chuckled, hugging him back. I'm looking forward to dinner. Any particular reason? Not really. Just that it's it'll be nice. So no longer worried about everyone uh, doubting on you. I playfully uh, shove him aside, and he just laughs, rubbing my side. He got up and brought me up with him, taking my hand and rubbing the uh, back of them with a thumb. Alright, I think it's time I get ready for tonight. Oh, sure. Should I, uh, you know... Well, I think you look great already, but if you want to grab a shower and freshen up for our date, then I'll, by all means... I, if that's what you're doing, I should do the same, right? Entirely up to you, but I'll be uh, doing it, uh, going to do that, and I'll swing by your room to pick you up. Such a gentleman. You know it. Unless you had anything else you needed for me. Nope, I guess I'll see you in a bit. He wandered off with a spring in his step, looking back as he got to the uh, door and gave me one last wave before disappearing out of sight. This was good, right? A break from everything, if only just for a bit. The prospect was uh, sinking in now, now, and I hurried my way up to my room to get ready. I got to my room and jumped into the shower. The water was hot and I took my time on getting clean. The thought of what was of uh, what Dean and I could potentially be getting up to afterwards, if things went well, had an effect on me too. I made sure I was clean, thoroughly, just in case. I'd forgotten most... <clears throat> uh, most else? Forgotten uh, what else that was uh, going on, and tunnel visioned on the prospect of going on a date. Was this what it was like... Uh, to be, uh, wait, was this going to be, like, from now on? Was this feeling actually affection for Dean, or just excitement that someone was actually taking me out of my, uh, stereotypical, taking me out on a stereotypical date? For a moment, I had forgotten everything that had been going on as, uh, as of late. The murderers, the people in the woods, even being trapped on a mountain. Losing myself into the fruity scent of my shampoo, and the heat of the water, I took myself back to a happier place, somewhere far away from the mansion. Thinking about home, or a beach resort, my friends were there, and I wondered what it would be like properly to have a boyfriend. These thoughts carried me through getting dry and then getting dressed after. I would <clears throat> Wait. I was only uh, taken out of my daydreaming when I, um, when I heard a knock on the door, Dean's cheery voice flowing in from the other side. Hello, is Dave home? <laughs> Chuckling, I wandered over to the door, greeting the, uh, wait, greeted to Dean leaning against the uh, doorway. Oh, okay, so we can just, oh. I hope you're ready for dinner. I think so. Haven't had much to eat today. Great. Then what's, uh, then, uh, that means you've got room for some of the best food I've uh, been able to source. He pulled me carefully through the doorway and closed the door to my bed, to my room behind me. 
the two of us headed downstairs. Okay, how much of this is the same? Apparently a lot of it. <laughs> oh, what did you say his name was? Rami? That's right, yeah. Oh, so he says it early. Okay, so they, they do the thing you... Uh, wait, yeah, and then you go out to... You have no idea how much of a relief it is knowing uh, we had our first date. Really? You don't think so? I guess I never really thought about it that way. Maybe not relief, but I had a great time. Good time. Then I'm glad. I didn't expect you and Orlando to both uh, know your ex-boyfriend, though. That's going to be something. I'll have to talk with uh, Orlando at some point. It sounded bad, or... There are two sides to every story, Dave. I don't know what Orlando knows, but I'd be curious to know what happened to Rami after high school. But why? He... He went to say something before falling quiet, looking up at the sky again. I followed his gaze before returning to him, returning to look at him, worried about something. Did you... Yeah. I think... Nah. And I'm pretty certain about that one. Oh yeah? Why? Dean's smile faltered for a second, his eyes going wide, and I saw him gulp. His cheeks were going red, even under his fur, and he leaned in close. On instinct, I backed up a little, confused, but stopped when I felt one of his hands on uh, take mine, and he looked uh, deep into my eyes. His voice uh, dropped down to a whisper, or maybe something slightly off, softer than that. My ears perked forward to catch every syllable he spoke, in case I missed it. Because I... <laughs> A few moments, a few more moments passed between uh, us in silence before Dean edged closer still, pressing his muzzle against mine. It was the single best kiss I've ever gotten from Dean, better than our first kiss by far. It was hard to explain. It's you, wait, uh, the usual feeling of him wanting me in the more carnal of ways wasn't there, replaced with something softer. I felt desire, but more than just for the bedroom. One of my hands found its way to his chest, and I uh, could feel the uh, steady, heavy, heavy heartbeat of the bear in front of me. One of his, uh, one of his found the back of my uh, head, cradling me uh, carefully as he, wait, yeah, uh, as he broke away. He doesn't even come close. I promise. I felt my, I could feel my heart thumping in my chest hard, and I uh, started to chuckle, and then uh, laugh nervously. Dean, I... I had his full attention, and I couldn't tell, and I could tell uh, the moment I opened my mouth. Yeah? My throat felt dry, and in that moment, I wondered exactly how I felt about Dean. Was I just caught up in the moment, or was this something inside of, inside the real deal? The longer I thought about it, the more he just uh, watched me with uh, that warm smile. Did I ever have a choice? He seemed to be giving me one, and I knew that, all things considered, I really liked Dean. But was liking him enough? Did I have to uh, love him now for him to be my boyfriend, or was it something else? I felt bad for uh, having to make Dean wait, but I had to make a decision. Seconds passed after the words left my mouth, croaking out in something resembling a whisper, or a secret only for him. I moved forward on my own, pressing my muzzle to his and taking the initiative in another kiss, closing my eyes. And much like before, his arms wrapped around my body and held me uh, close as he kissed me back. As we broke apart, I shivered, chuckling slightly. Is it me? 
Uh, is it just me, or is it cold out? I think that's just excitement. You think so? Of course. I'm feeling it too. The sort of jitty feel jittery feeling you get after something nice has happened. So, we're together now, right? I think so, yeah. Officially. He took my hand in his and gave me a gentle squeeze. I think we are, finally, boyfriends. I laughed at the idea, and it had taken us this long to get to this point, but it felt right somehow. All I knew above all else was that I was happy. Should we go tell Orlando the good news? We could. Or, maybe I want to spend some time with my boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> some more without anyone else. What did you have in mind? I didn't get that far, really. We could watch a movie, we could head to the bed, and, well... Both? Both is good. Or, um... Am I have something else in mind? I placed my hand on uh, his thigh, and we sat there, looking at him bashfully. Well... I mean, we have the rest of the night ahead of us, right? Yes, we do! And I guess it's something I've been curious about since the first time. I'm interested. Trust me, I am, but there's nothing that has to say we have to do anything tonight. As much as I know I'd like to. And if I want to, Orlando said uh, he had lube already. <laughs> Dean quaked with laughter, shaking his head. He sure did think of everything, didn't he? So, movie, or... He took me by the hand and stood up, bringing me with him. His face uh, turned into a roguish grin, and I knew his answer before he even said anything. I think we should head to bed. The two of us hurried upstairs and darted into Dean's room, the door closing the moment he had me uh, to himself. He peeled off his shirt and pinned me against the door, bringing uh, me into a deep kiss. I hadn't realized properly just how strong he was until he was handling me like this, working our clothes off to our underwear before he carried me over to the bed. Towering over me, he looked uh, down uncertain, but I could tell in his eyes how much he wanted this. I was inclined to say I wanted it just as bad. Flashing him the same smile he gave me when we were outside, he took that as permission to continue. He'd say he loved me, and now he was uh, showing me. From how he uh, kissed me, he ha uh, how he kissed me, to how he uh, held me close, to how every moment was slow and deliberate, as if he was uh, scared that I'd run away. But what he didn't know was that uh, there was nowhere I'd rather be than with my bear. Part of me ached in the best way, but I felt like a mess. My fur felt sticky and all over the place, wild, and I probably looked insane from uh, how I was uh, giggling to myself laying on the bed. Not that Dean was any better, he, but he sounded exhausted even with the uh, goofy smile on his face. Wait here, I'll get you a towel. I stumbled out, out of the bed, waddling over to him as he stood by the bathroom door. <clears throat> May, uh, may as well just take a shower again, huh? And so we did. Much like we, uh, when we were in bed, each action Dean made was slow and deliberate, ignoring the fact that we, uh, the fact that we went again. He made sure everything was washed and cleaned, if, even despite the water running cold at the one point. I just feel like I've run a marathon. Me too, although... Time for you to get your butt in bed and drift off to sleep. In a bit, yeah. Something still left to do? You didn't want to go a third time, did you? No, not this time. Just thinking about thanking Orlando again, or checking in with the others. Oh, of course. I guess I could go tell Sal the good news as well. Dean put on some pants and went to looking for Sal. Where, uh... Whereas I did the same when looking for Orlando. He was in the kitchen, eating some ice cream at the counter. Didn't seem as though he uh, heard me come in, though. Orlando? Oh, what? He spun around and looked at me, half uh, dressed as... Wait, half dressed as a smile started to form. I'll count that this as a win. What? Well, how was you... Uh... From how you're dressed, I'm guessing the date went well, really well. 
Well, Dean and I are official now, at least. He gestured to me to come close, and I stood next to him as he uh, continued to eat his dessert. I'm happy for you. I really am. You did most of the work in that uh, last bit, Orlando, so thank you. Uh, <clears throat> just if he uh, gives you any trouble, let me know. I'm sure his ex would love to hear about him screwing up another relationship if it happened. Please be nice. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I know I'm happy. And that's all that matters, Dave. Really. I leaned closer and gave him a hug, and he gave me one back, squeezing gently. Heading back to bed now? I think so. Well, actually, have you seen Tyson? I think I saw him wandering around. Don't know why, though. I'll have a look, thanks. I'll see you in the morning. He left the kitchen and spotted... I, I left the kitchen and spotted Tyson immediately outside. Ty? Yeah. He turned to look at me, smirking. Someone looks like they had fun. Kinda, yeah. Thing with Dean go alright? Yeah, we're a couple now, I think. Boyfriends, or I don't know. We're, we're a thing. <laughs> You're a brat. I shot him a look and we both chuckled. You happy? Yeah. Then why are you out here with me? Uh, take my bed tonight, Ty. Dude, gross. I know what that means. You went to sleep in that last night, didn't you? Figured uh, I'd just extend the invitation again. Alright. But if you want it back after tonight, just let me know. Sure. But I think I'll be headed uh, back to Dean. I just wanted to make sure you were doing okay. As I turned to go, um, I turned, he grabbed me quickly by the wrist, looking me over. Thanks. You're welcome. Even if you're dating him, you still got me, you know, brothers or whatever. I know, Ty. Well, good. Night, Ty. Yeah, yeah. Just sleep well, you dork. Oh, like actual best boy. Like, uh, I returned to the bed before uh, Dean did and sat around, making sure my uh, phone was uh, set off to the side. Uh, sorry, I uh, sorry I took a bit. It's no problem. How'd it go? Chewed me out for a, a little for taking so long to get to the point, but he's happy for us. That's good. And you thanked Orlando? I did, and he also said, uh, if you give me any trouble, I should let him know. Of course he did. Dean flicked off the light and stood in front of me as I uh, sat on the bed. How are you feeling? Good, but, uh... Can I ask a favor? Of course, what's up? Oh, of course, what's up? Uh, can you tell me that you love me again? Just, it feels so surreal still that it's this is happening. He chuckled, kicking off his pants and stroking my cheek. I love you, Dave. You're a sweet, kind, and very handsome hyena. You make me giddy, just knowing that, uh, that at least now, you're all mine. He leans down and kisses me sweetly on the muzzle, stroking my head. Now come on, time for bed. For a moment, I thought that, uh, I thought that, ah, uh, thought that what clothes were we were wearing would soon end up on the floor again, but Dean just held me close, cu uh, cuddling me tight. I felt safe, warm, loved, and the steady thumping of his heartbeat was quickly putting me to sleep. Losing myself against his softer, warm body and the slightly uh, sweet honey smell that lingered from his shampoo, I succumbed to sleep peacefully, but most importantly, happy. Okay. Uh, we, we do. Okay, so that was, uh, you know... Dini, Dini boy. He's he's still sweet. He's not my favorite, but it's you know it's nice. Ah, uh, I think I'm I think I'm more interested. I I know I'm more interested in Haas now after playing his route. So I didn't think it would give me a decision to like go for Dean or 
kind of reject him? That's interesting. I actually like thought about not going for it. Uh, I hope they give me that decision with Haas, so I can always do yes, yes. Let's let us let us let us go. Uh, I don't know if I'll do platonic with Orlando. I don't know. He's a he's a good boy, but I don't like. I personally don't like him that way. I'll be honest. So uh, I don't know. Uh, but I'll end the part. So I'll see you around.